I have a two part question. First part is imagine you have a country with remittances, huge amount of remittances. Uh, if they switch to cryptocurrencies, A, will that really have an impact? Can you speak up, please? Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, so I had a two part question. I'll repeat the question, yes. Thank you. Uh, and the second part is like in India, the case could be there could be multiple possible scenarios. It could not just be that the currency was, it could be political moves that the incumbents are making. Right. Uh, so how do we actually differentiate the two? And if, you know, if we actually enter the system in that sense, then we'd be party to the so-called political things that's happening there, one side or the other. What, what's your difference? Um, as far as I'm, so the first question was, what about countries adopting cryptocurrency as a whole? That's not going to happen. Oh, no, for remittances, that's what I'm for remittances. Yes. Um, I think it's really important to look at remittances because remittances don't go away. In fact, what happens, which is really interesting, is that as you have a premium on the price of Bitcoin in a country because of a lack of liquidity, that creates an enormous incentive for arbitrage. Here's the new slogan for remittances. If you want to transfer money from the UK to India, right? Western Union will charge you 5%. Bitcoin will now charge you minus 20%. <laughs> because you take it for here at 770 bucks and you sell it in India for 1000, right? And sure, they can stop one person doing it. They can stop two persons doing it. They're going to have to search a lot of luggage in the airports. Because people are going to start moving 20% premium paper wallets. And if they start finding paper wallets, people will learn how to memorize 12 word seeds. And they will walk across the border with remittances. I think we as Westerners, most of us live in a privileged world where the amount of pain we are required to undertake in order to adopt Bitcoin is limited. Right? In Venezuela, where at the moment being engaged in Bitcoin is an offense that will put you in jail for the rest of your life. Right? And that's if you escape with your life. And already two miners have been prosecuted in Venezuela. They are now smuggling Antminer S9s across the border. They are setting up mining factories inside Venezuela using the free electricity to mine Bitcoin. And then they are using the revenue from Bitcoin to buy food on Amazon Prime Pantry. Have that food delivered to an adjacent country and then smuggled over the border. So you think it's difficult to figure out how to enter an eight-letter password if it also requires a capital letter and a symbol, and all of this Bitcoin wallet is too fucking complicated, and I don't know why you people bother, because I have Visa debit. Go talk to Venezuelan about what they'll go through. <laughs> <laughs>